With this channel, I've really been on a mission to get more people interested in STEM and STEM-related hobbies. Uh, but with that, there's been one thing that I've been noticing. Not that many people are into science, technology, or mathematics. Engineering, kind of, especially when it comes to coding, but it's mostly been for trying to get a job in tech, etc. But I was questioning, why is that the case? When I was younger, I loved science. I was one of those nerdy people that just always wanted to learn anything about science, being outside, reading books about science. That was my whole thing. I remember getting a stethoscope when I was really younger. I also had a telescope, really liked having a microscope, and it was just something that I thought was fascinating. But with that, I also excelled in math and science, and I noticed that a lot of people didn't. And I think the reason is, a lot of people just didn't like it. So today, I'm going to break down some reasons of why you may have hated science, technology, engineering, and math when you were in school. Reason number one, it's kind of like an either or mentality that many of us were put into. You either liked math and science or you liked reading and writing. At least that was my experience. Or maybe you didn't like any of that and you just really liked PE as a course, which is also completely fine. But I think when it came to academics at my school, I was kind of pushed uh, surprisingly into more of the math and science just because of some of my skills early on and I actually had the opportunity to go to a math and science school which I didn't because I thought math and science was for nerds and also I wanted to be by my friends. Do not judge me. <sighs> my life definitely probably would have been a lot different had I gone. But I also found that I really loved reading and writing so I kind of felt myself going back and forth of trying to figure out could I be someone who liked math and science and also liked reading and writing? And I think a lot of people kind of just decide early on that they're going to just do reading and writing or arts or PE. And we kind of just pigeonhole ourselves into these different groups. Another reason why you may not have liked science, technology, engineering, or math is because you thought it was for nerds. <laughs> That was literally the reason that I, even though I was super smart in it, I think there's something about being young and smart and maybe not looking like what people consider a nerd to look like. Granted, this was like way back when, I, hopefully it's not still the same case anymore, but that could be a reason of why you just didn't like it. Maybe you thought that you weren't supposed to. So that's something that I really wanna challenge with this channel is just making sure that people who are into STEM are able to explore it no matter what they look like or any preconceived notions that people may have about them. I know um, one of my favorite people, Neil deGrasse Tyson, I had a chance to meet him recently and he actually touched on this. So I know I'm not just making it up in my head. He decided from a very young age that he wanted to be an astrophysicist, but he also mentioned that where he grew up, I believe it was the Bronx, there weren't many people who wanted to be an astrophysicist and also, if you didn't know, Neil deGrasse Tyson is black and there definitely weren't and kind of still aren't that many black astrophysicists that he could look up to. So with that, thankfully, he decided to still continue. However, I know most people or many people don't decide to go into fields where they can't see other people who look like them. So that could also be a reason why some people don't go into STEM or decide that they don't like it at an early age. Reason number three why you may not have liked STEM growing up is that you probably had so many topics that you were also learning, especially if you decided to try to study it in college, you were probably inundated by so many other things that you had to do that it was probably really hard to truly grasp all of the concepts of all of these different subjects where you have to really just get the answer right. I've mentioned in previous videos how math and science aren't really subjective. You typically have at least one right answer to whereas things like writing um, and other subjects, it's a little bit more leeway, more subjective. Of course, you have your set of rules, but um, overall, there's not one good way and one right answer to write a paper. However, most of the times in STEM, you typically only have a few set answers and you got to get it right. So with that, if you're learning so many other subjects and you're having one to where you absolutely just have to get it right um, or just learn a whole bunch of information, 
and just retain that information and also apply it, it's probably why you don't like it if you have to do all of that at once. This is why I always encourage people that if you had somewhat of an interest in it, but maybe you weren't a good test taker, make sure to try it even when you're not in that environment, just to see if it's something that you actually like now that you have more time to explore it. And the final reason that a lot of people do not like STEM related subjects while they're in school is that for the most part, you have a few courses that lead you to what I like to call a weed out course. For example, if you ask anybody who was a biology or chemistry major, what their least favorite subject was, I can almost guarantee you it was organic chemistry. Not because organic chemistry is hard. I mean, it is pretty hard. <laughs> but the reason is, is that at most colleges, that is a weed out course. I know in my class, I think we had maybe 100 people take the course and only four people passed. Not getting A's, passed. That is pretty ridiculous, very ridiculous. Should probably rethink some of the ways that we teach. But I know that it is one of those courses where we kind of pause. And I think with the curriculum, they try to see who truly wants to be in the major and to make a career out of it. I honestly don't know how that really works, but I know that weed out courses are a thing. Many people in science have talked about it. And I think also some people consider calculus um, I don't know if it's the first level or future levels of calculus it can also be a weed out course to just make you rethink think of like, do I actually want to make this my life? Um, so yeah, you could have been stopped at a weed out course and not even realized it and just thought, oh, I am just horrible at this. I'm not going to continue. So these are some of the reasons why I've identified why people typically say that they don't like science or math or other STEM related topics. But in reality, I think that there are so many more people who would enjoy it if they decide to learn it outside of a classroom setting. There are so many cool ways that you can apply STEM just to your everyday life. And I'm super excited to just explore that more on this channel. So I want to know from you, what do you think? Do you have any other reasons why you think people don't like STEM related topics? Also, I'd love to know, were you someone who typically enjoyed more math and science? Or did you like more reading, writing? arts, or even PE. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.